Optical ball mouse experiment. So we have a deodorant bottle, a optical mouse, and a box that has nothing to do with this. Now we want the optical mouse sensor and the ball from the deodorant bottle to work together as an optical ball mouse. So we're going to cut off the ball from the bottle. And here we have the ball. Now we need to clean the table and the ball from the little tiny pieces of plastic. Once that's done, we can now test our little ball, which spins freely. And now for the mouse. This is a cheapo optical mouse. So there's only one screw that we need to take off. And we can then take the cover off and throw it away. And since we're only interested in the optical sensor, we'll just remove it from the original casing. Now this particular sensor comes with the sensor board and the optical parts as a separate piece which is nice because we're then going to use the optical piece to put the ball on. Now the ball stands on a too high part so we're going to sand parts of it. And this will take a while. And now we have it pretty close to the surface, but we'll continue sanding for a while. And here we go. Now I noticed that you can pull off the side ring from the ball, which could have been helpful in the beginning. Live and learn. Now here is the sensor board, and we'll just hot glue the ball onto the optical piece. And there we go, our optical ball mouse is almost complete. And now it is complete. That's it. And next, we need to test it. Here we can see, we're using it. It's not particularly responsive, but that seems to be because of the uh, distance between the sensor and the ball surface is not what we want. It's also acting as a mirror because of the way that we have the mouse upside down. But it works, which is interesting. With a little bit of refinement, this would probably work fine. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope this has been fun for you.